Now, I think one thing we can all agree on is the word forgiveness is something we love to hear as average golfers. Because let's be honest, our interpretation of that word, or mine at least, is that, well, if we happen to hit a bad shot, we kind of get away with it. And as weekend golfers, let's be honest, we need all the help we can possibly get. Oh, needed a bounce forward. But the big question is, with so many clubs to choose from right now, and so many claiming to be the most forgiving in every category, question is, what are the most forgiving clubs of 2022? And I think I've got to start as every what's in the bag should, and that's with the big dog. Okay, so the driver for me that has been the most forgiving in 2022 is not one that I have in the bag, but came very close to doing so. And that is from Callaway. It's the Rogue and it's the Rogue Max. Now for me, the Max product is all out about forgiveness. It's everything you wanna see from a driver when you're looking for a bit of help and assistance. The first thing is the weight and mass has been produced, uh, has been placed rather, right at the very back dead center. So what that does is help in terms of launching the ball, which a lot of golfers in this sort of category that are looking for forgiveness are also gonna want a bit of help with launch. The likes of the AI technology in the face means that Callaway claim that we're getting or accessing ball speeds right across that club face, irrelevant of whether or not we find dead center or not. And I think that's a claim that I would sort of substantiate. I think that it performs incredibly well, no matter how inconsistent we are in terms of strike. So that's gotta be a very, very positive thing. It's a very, very stable driver, very consistent and very forgiving. So that's driver out the way. What's next? So next in the bag would be your fairway woods, but in this case, it's very much a high wood. And whilst I'm just about to reveal what this club is, we've just literally bounced on the fairway and into the water. So not the best shot to have demoed exactly why I would choose this as the most forgiving. Maybe, the clown that was at the end of it just went a little bit tight on that line. But the club is in fact from Cleveland and it is their high wood. It's a three high wood, it's got 18 degrees of loft. It plays nothing like a three fairway wood and nothing like a three hybrid. And this crossover between the two is very much a, uh, a length of shaft of a fairway wood a head which is the size of an in-between a hybrid and a fairway wood. It's very much a mix-up of those two clubs, as the name suggests, but it does a couple of things. One, again, like the driver, it launches the ball incredibly high. Two, it's very versatile. You can play it from the tee, as I've just done. You can play it from the rough. You can play it from a tight light on the fairway. And in every one of those situations, I would say launch is probably something that it does uh, very much different than the loft suggesting that it's very high in terms of launch. But again, it seems to be a very forgiving club in that wherever you get it off that club face, you seem to be getting a little bit of uh, help and assistance, which is key to us golfers. So forgiveness and versatility and a bit more controllability in terms of length and shaft, all those type of things, make it for me a real favorable option if you're looking for a forgiving fairway wood or high wood. Not a good line, was it? Right, so we've got a three wood in the bag and that arguably, like I said, is versatile, but it's a fairly long distance club that you're playing. I think we need a couple of other options in that longer end of the bag. So we've got another wood, another fairway wood. It's not a three that it says on here. It is in fact, well, I call it DJ secret weapon. It's a nine wood, it's a stealth nine wood. A lot of these clubs you're gonna see in today's video, I'm suggesting are the most forgiving. I find them very forgiving, but obviously other nine woods will no doubt do a job because this is about not so much forgiveness, but about what makes a very playable bag for an average golfer. And I think what a nine wood does, it becomes a very versatile club yet again. It can play from a number of yardages and situations, but it's that addition of loft. 24 degrees on a fairway head is so, so different than having a five or a three wood in the bag, which is the generic choice. And it just makes life very, very easy. It's a slightly shorter shaft than that of the five wood and the three wood, so a bit more control, but that bulk in their head 
that loft means that we're going to pop the ball up really high but we're going to get there with the help of these modern day club faces which i think are pretty much all forgiven in that idea that if you don't quite get these out of the center you're still going to get a result that you probably shouldn't due to the poorness of your strike if that makes sense so hence forgiveness so a nine wood is a definite in the bag for me right so fairway woods are now sorted i will add nine wood or perhaps a seven wood all i'm suggesting is something with plenty of loft to make life a little bit easier but then continuing that theme of making life easier and more forgiving we're into the hybrids now there's plenty of hybrids and they're pretty much all forgiving i would say nowadays but once again i would look at adding loft to your hybrids in the same way as i'm suggesting you add loft to your fairway woods because quite simply, like with the nine wood, I'm gonna suggest you use a five hybrid. Five hybrid, 25 degrees. So one degree difference between that and the nine wood, but very different in the distance it travels. But what they both offer is not a huge loss in distance from the likes of the seven or even the five wood in many instances. And I've tested this five hybrid up against my four and also my three there's not a huge drop off in terms of distance but that extra loft makes life so much easier and more forgiving so when you're faced with a typical shot like this we've got sort of 175 into that flag we've got three or four bunkers that we're looking to cover i want plenty of height that thing is going to do this in terms of the loft it's got first of all then with that sort of uh, weight placement right at the very back similar theme to all these clubs it's going to help in terms of launching that ball this by the way is the tour edge exotics 5 hybrid it makes no difference like i said which model you would choose to use the simple point is if you're looking for forgiveness in your bag you need loft where possible but you don't want to give up lots of distance by doing so and what we've looked at so far is an 18 degree 3 wood a 24 degree 9 wood a 25 degree five hybrid and they all do they defy the distance compared to that in terms of um their loft the question is and can you do any good while the camera's on you see the launch in a ball i mean i couldn't have done any better with the camera on or off because this is dropping right on it that's a golf shot but it did exactly what I said. It just launches the ball so much higher. And if you look at playing the equivalent iron, long iron from that situation, so maybe I'd be looking at a five iron. The ball iron is, uh, the ball flight is so much flatter. It's so much more harder then to get that ball to stop with so much carry that you're looking for over those four bunkers. So a five hybrid or similar is a definite if you want a forgiving setup in your golf bag. Okay, I mentioned earlier on in the video, I'll give you a couple of options as well in terms of alternatives. And if you don't like hybrids, but you don't like playing or have the confidence to play long irons, I suggest you have a look at these things, which is new from TaylorMade. It's the DHY. They're available in three, four, and five, two, three, four, and five iron equivalent lofts. Um, the DHY being far more easier to use than the UDI. They're a wide sole, fairly. Um, big profile overall bulky looking iron um hybrid iron i would call it i think they call it a driving hybrid that dhy stands for but ultimately just again a really forgiving long iron alternative and i think that um, many of us struggle at this end of the bag for me i've replaced my five iron and put one of these in the bag i just do not see the reasoning or logic that i want to struggle with a regular five iron when i can play that thing and it's so much more consistent and forgiving so yet again another interesting alternative to long irons or if you don't like hybrids then give them a look as well right that iron you're seeing me hit right now is a uh, well it's a bit of a hybrid iron i would call it and the model is from pxg is their 0211z or z model and it's very much this hybrid iron of a bulk like a hybrid if you like on the back end attached to what is a traditional iron and they are incredibly easy to play golf with now again like i've said throughout this video there are a number of different models in this category that likes the cobra t-rail there's the cleveland is it the xo xl launcher again very similar sort of style of club that effectively do the same job and what they do is they're ultra forgiving they're very easy to put half a swing on 
because of that bulk and mass and again the same message throughout cg placement is able to come much further back than we could ever achieve in a traditional iron and every one that you've seen me hit launches incredibly high that's what they do but like i said the ball speeds that come off the face seem really good again stronger lofted all of those models that i've just suggested are a little bit stronger lofted but still launch the ball very high so for me this style of iron is without doubt the most forgiving that you can stick in your bag right now and if you want to take advantage of technology and ignore the kind of stereotypes that you've seen in the past then the difference between this and a blade the opposite ends of the spectrum will let chalk and cheese and obviously this is far more forgiving than that blade whatever you believe about technology stands to reason this is a far easier golf club to play if you're looking for forgiveness right next up is the short game now the short game is not something you would have uh, associated the word forgiveness with well i wouldn't have at least anyway but there's been some considerable changes over the last couple of years in terms of uh, let's call it short game technology and for me it's a really important game because we can be really erratic at this side of the game and it's where it can be really costly and expensive. So what I'm suggesting as you look at wedges that are similar to what I'm about to show you. Now, first of all, I was a big fan of the Cleveland CBX wedges that came around maybe three, four years ago, all based on their sort of wide sole. It was a cavity back, sort of fairly large um, profiled wedge and it was forgiving and did a real good provided a lot of help for average golfers. They've then brought out Cleveland this smart sole design. And in that, they've got a gap wedge, they've got a, um, a lob wedge, and they've also got a chipper. Very much similar in terms of the design and style, and each do their uh, respective jobs very, very well and simply. As you can see, I'm playing the gap wedge today from a same situation, with different types of shot types or so a little low one we then open the face up and throw a sort of full one to the back of the green and then we've got that in between shot so straight away if you need one wedge in the bag and obviously we can play it from full shots but this becomes a very versatile club and as you can see fairly wide sole big cavity back and a big head profile does all the things i'm suggesting it does now there is a chipper in there but i can't do this video without talking about the ping chipper because i think it is a very forgiving club in that it forgives us for what can be a very erratic short game if you're not quite on it and uh, as you can see from that same situation we just found ourselves in with the gap wedge i was able to hit three chip shots chip and run shots very much got the flag surrounded it's a one-dimensional club but very very versatile and as we're suggesting in the title of this video very forgiving so make sure you don't forgive forgiveness when you're choosing the wedges the chippers in the short end of your bag so whilst we all acknowledge that technology has reached its limitations in terms of things like distance i think manufacturers have very much concentrated their efforts on moi which is ultimately forgiveness we even discuss forgiveness when we're talking about putters right now. So last but not least, and sometimes one of the most overlooked clubs in the bag is, uh, well, it's the putter. But like I said, I think it's a big mistake. But again, this video is all about MOI. It's all about forgiveness. And first of all, this thing is packed with forgiveness and stability as well is the key word. The likes of this weighting system on this tail end make sure that this stays really square. It is, of course, a face balance putter, which for most average golfers, I tend to think that would be uh, most um, relevant, I suppose, in terms of a straight back and straight through putting stroke. But again, it's that forgiveness across the club face as well, where off centre hits, would you believe or not, that we get very often with our putter and this retains the same pace right the way across the club face but this is a mix i suppose between what you'd call moi all out forgiveness in terms of club face but also about the stability of that putter head now i'm filming another video so i've just got to concentrate for a second ah do you know what that was where i aimed it just uh, didn't uh, well i didn't get the read quite right so that's the bag almost finished, if I can get my golf ball back. 
Now we just need to have a look at a couple of other things that I suggest we might be able to have a closer look at. Right, okay, that's pretty much video complete. I'm going to come up with two other suggestions that you can look to add to your bag to make it a little bit, potentially a little bit easier. I've also been playing nine holes this morning with the bag that we've put together. You can watch that video possibly tomorrow night and just see how my performance has been affected or not by playing these uh, clubs. The two other things I would add is the golf ball of choice could also give you a little bit more forgiveness and that is the Callaway Max golf ball. It's something we did a review on fairly um, recently, maybe a month or two ago. Basically reduces spin. It's actually, it's a bigger size golf ball, which arguably has a few other benefits as well. So if you want forgiveness from a golf ball, maybe look at the Callaway Max. And the other one thing that I've noticed as I've gone round today is that uh, in the last couple of weeks I've been trialing a Skycaddy SX550. And that's very much a GPS device that obviously maps your way from tee to green. And when you get near the green, the first reading you get is centre of the green. Now I use a Bushnell range finder and I'm always marking out yardages to flags. That can be a very dangerous game as well because it depends on your ability whether or not you can find that flag. But I find a sensible move is to play the likes of the GPS device of the SX550 and always be going for the yardages of center of the green. So again, for me, it's not necessarily forgiveness, but uh, if you're looking to make the game a little bit easier, start aiming for greens, drop your range finder and get yourself a GPS device might also be a good idea. Anyway, that's the bag that I put together as being the most forgiving options of 2022. What I want from you is your thoughts down below. What have you found this year? Have you bought anything in particular that's made your game, your life just that little bit easier? Then please let me know, and more importantly, let your fellow golfers know. Don't keep that secret to yourselves. Right, as ever, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all soon.